What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki third party transforming animal thing becomes a box review. We're gonna take a look at something new ish from Fight Two Toys, and it is the BB24 CL Turtle. And um as you can see, this box has seen better days. Um this is how I got it from Amazon. They shipped it in a kind of bubble mailer thing along with a mic stand that was heavy and made of metal. And, well, either the mic stand beat it to crap in the packaging or it came from the shipper in the warehouse uh, and somebody had tried to absolutely tear this thing apart or something. I don't know. But uh, you can see here, it's really torn open. And when I got it, the plastic was was all protruding. Like, it almost looked like somebody ripped it open and tried to steal stuff out of it. But, no. Either way, so uh, the CLs apparently stand for Chime Long. Because there's a Chime Long logo right there. And this is the first that I know of, of any 52 Toys, let alone Beast Box figures, that uh, is from Chime Long. And I love the fact that it's just called Turtle. And, of course, you do have an image here of a normal kind of sea turtle. And then I think that basically what they're going for is a more natural look <laughs> to the to this. I don't know. Uh, you know, they have a whole lot of other stuff. So, by the way, caution down here. You got beast mode, box mode. You got the box mode there. No other thing going on back here. It, mechanical design by Metal Command. And then uh, American stuff here. That's the first time I've seen this, actually. So, that's actually kind of cool. It's got the Chime Long logo there. So that's pretty neat. This is all here. Uh, so they did actually open up at a proper Amazon store for their stuff. They were doing Black Friday deals and had a whole bunch of stuff up there that uh, was for sale. So, I mean, it is what it is. And I'm, this is the only one that I technically wanted. And had I known what was going to happen in shipping, I would have ordered it by itself instead of basically in the same order as the mic stand i don't even know i didn't even say combine my orders into one thing also I had no idea it would be coming in a single package so you know definitely definitely a problem so that's you know if i wanted to keep this as a collector's thing well i'd be pretty pissed but i don't keep the boxes generally so let's get to it All right, guys, so here we have Turtle. It, it is just funny that its name was Turtle. In its box charger, and it's just good. I'm not going to do a Taro video for it, because this is just a recolor of a one we've already done. We already did the Jetsum before, so let's go ahead and just look at everything that's in the box for this guy. Uh, you do have the instructions, which is just the normal BB-24, from Beast Mode to Box Mode, and then flip it around, Box Mode to Beast Mode. Either way. Works pretty good. The only thing I'm uh, lacking is the... <laughs> I forgot how to put it in its quote-unquote tank mode. Uh, so I may have to refer to my own video for that. Uh, and then, of course, you do come with these things here. Or it comes with it. You don't. Your person, not a, not a toy. Uh, the clear plastic uh, springy thing that never used, but I saved them just in case. And it does come with something a little bit different. So it comes with... The regular catalog that we're used to, but then it comes with this catalog. Let me uh, let me reposition here slightly, so we can look at this. This is cool, actually. Look at this. It's Five Two Toys Chime Long map, like it's a freaking zoo, and that is cool. So we get a hippo, we get monkeys, we get pandas, we get triceratops, we get mammoth, another rhinoceros, or just a rhinoceros, two different birdies. A tiger lion thing, penguins, is a whale thing, and a little nut T Rex. Very, very cool. I actually like this. But then, if you come to the back, I think this is all the things that are kind of combined into a chime long thing. So you got uh, Rinkodon and Hippo, Binger, Emperor, and Glacier. So, and then this. So these are all kind of in one set, uh, if you could order it all together. But I like how you get the standard version and they show you the Chime Long version. 
or something at least close to it. Uh, so, like, you know, you got Delta, Behemoth, and then Big Power. I've got this. So, many of these we have reviewed already. The regular Ice Cube, the Leviathan, Echo Blaster, Rumblebee, Trident, or Pinchy, as it's known. Darknet. Uh, we got Joe Jobs, Flame Jojo. I have not done Giovanna, uh, because I'm not really keen on it, to be honest. Uh, I think I've got, pretty sure I've got the Jungle, this one, and the 1.5, and the normal MoMA. So... And, yes, I know they have so, oh, so many things coming. Like, so many things coming. Like, I'd have to basically abandon normal Transformers to just focus on this line. Because they have so much coming. It's kind of crazy. Now, one thing I will show off. Uh, I do have a regular Jetsum here in uh, one of the box chargers that clearly is far more faded less clear now part of me wonders if there's just some oxidation going on here or dust or something because these things have, have just been in a box but i swear some of them or at least most of them come super clear like this and then all end up looking like this even though they're just chilling in a box in my room so i'll put that there and frankly i'm not even going to bother showing this transforming this thing on screen because we've already done it if you need to see that you can go check out the normal review. That was a little stuck. Something might be ever so slightly out of whack here. So here's your box chargers. And, well, you can see the coloration is massively different. I mean, they even put different deco, which is cool. So not just painting the same parts, different colors. They got all new deco along here, along here, along there. All new tampoed stuff. Uh, let's find this section here. This one says Ancient Mariner. That doesn't have anything on it. Because this one is definitely meant to be more of a machine. I think this one's technically meant to be more of an actual animal. You see the differences in color and paint jobs throughout here. It does have a chrome Chime Long logo there, which is actually pretty neat. Instead of the faction logo, like there, so the undersea faction, which looks like a sharky shark. And uh, I did do an out-the-box for this guy for... Um, members so hopefully that uh won't pop up prior to this review or else i am a terrible youtuber i did have to remember how to transform it especially with these uh bottom flippers because that was something that uh i was pretty pretty confused on have not have not done it in quite some time so uh like i said i'm this is going to be a shorter review already done the transformation so i'm going to skip it and we're just going to jump to Okay, so that actually took slightly longer than than anticipated. Also, part of me wonders if I've been mistransforming these guys all along because I don't think I ever did their shell correctly. Like, for one, pushing this little bit inside there. I don't think I ever managed to do that properly. Uh, in fact, I don't even know that I've ever actually done that. Um, <laughs> so, here we go. They've transformed right. I checked via the instructions, which I don't always follow, but, you know, or technically speaking, almost never follow. But here you go. Now you can see the differences color-wise and get a little bit more out here. You can see especially the head on this guy. While the beak is virtually the same color, you know, everything else is supremely different. The mold is exactly the same. There's nothing different between them that I can spot, but I love the color changes here especially like on the fins, like how this has the raised sections painted differently. Um, I actually kind of would have liked this orange inside there instead of the like neon green. And then we still have the back fins painted like so. Of course, most of this other stuff like around uh, the shell, you know, we pretty much could see all that before. Uh, you know, the kind of neon green, the red and stuff like that, Chime Long logo, things like that, you know, there's not that much to point out different, you know? So uh, one thing I will say is that ball joint is a bit loose, if I'm honest with you. And you know what? I'm going to turn off that light because it's a little harsh, if I'm honest. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, so ball joint, a little bit loose. Back sections here are pretty decent, nothing too crazy. In fact, it might be a little too tight between this pin joint here and through there, but pretty good uh i was having an issue with this wanting to stay plugged in back back here this little section that's plugged in there 
We've got it to stay decently. Uh, making sure that everybody's lined up in the right spot also helps. You know, once again, finally transforming it correctly, as it were. It does still have the same back door kind of gimmick that the normal one does. So you still get this here, what looks like a screen and a, a door. Because originally, you know, the concept was perhaps this is more of a submarine, you know. Which it does seem like, you know. Because even on the front here, you know, you got a bunch of tech stuff here. It even looks like there's a door going on there. Now, mind you, we know that it has a secret tank mode. We know this. We've done this game. Also, I forgot that the mouth opens. It's a super tiny bit, but the mouth opens. That's cool. I love the face on it. It's just cute. I wish they would paint the eyes, though. Translucent doesn't quite do it as much justice. You do still have the cannon, which... It always says goes like this. I think it doesn't look as good. Uh, you do actually, one thing I don't think I ever noticed is that there is a plug there. So if you have any of the para weapons, you can, of course, plug it in there. Same thing for here. I prefer this to be turned around like that. It just looks better. Definitely looks like some kind of 80s sci-fi. And then I do not have, I don't know if I have anything handy enough to push this. So he does have the seat. The clearly obvious seat here. Let's see if I can get it. It is super tight. It's finally starting to move. I can get under it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So clearly a seat. And which is funny because like a lot of them are now coming. You know, they're, they're the animals that one would ride. And when they come out with their actual action figures that are meant to ride the beasts, we'll see that much later. Um, I think what I'm going to try to do, because I know it still has the tank treads here and stuff like that. I think I'm going to go and check out the video where I do the secret tank mode and uh, go for that. Because I want to see what it looks like in these crazy colors so we'll be right back okay so here we go there's tank mode and i was close in uh, my approximation before looking up the video but uh and this is the version with the head up because it's kind of a pain if you put the head down um like, because it, it wants to sit on the head. But that gives you more of a tank tank. But, you know, it is what it is. However you want to do it. But it does do the tank mode. It's not super convincing, but it works. And I'm sure they're, you know, it, it would be great if they would legitimately, like, say how to do it. Because it's like, if there's other alt modes or there's just different stuff entirely that things are capable of it would be great to know it you know ahead of time not just rely on fans to to come up with stuff i mean like in a way this this reminds me of the perceptor tank mode you know where it's like okay that was original to the toy back in the day and then like hasbro just keeps it up because of that reason alone like it's like he was always a microscope but now now he's a tank too so you can do that, which is fine. And uh, not that you technically need a size comparison, but there's Wally. Wally with the turtle. So, yeah. Pretty easy. No big deal. Seriously, uh, they need to make a Wally. I would buy the crap out of that. But, uh, yeah. Pretty simple review today, guys. I don't even have to do the transformations because we've done it before. Go watch the Jetsam review if you want to see how to transform it from box mode to turtle mode or if you want to watch the original taro video you can do that i will link both of those videos at the end so you can do that and I, the turtle tank is still a fun fun fake mode or alt mode or just fan mode however you want to call it but either way that's going to be it for this one guys make sure you go check out the rest of the 52 toys playlist if you want to there's a lot of them you know, between my two channels. Uh, there is a Taro playlist uh, here on this channel, link to the other channel, and all these other things. So if you want to see transformations for all kinds of different Transformers and whatnot, by all means, go check that out too. 
could definitely, definitely use more views and likes and subscriptions. I would love to get to 10,000. I'm so close. Like, we're at 95 and change. Would be great to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. But I doubt it's going to happen without any kind of contest or giveaways or something like that. But just would love to hit 10,000. But guys, I will see you next time. Remember, as always, keep on nerding.